All right, today on the special media feed on Geekazine, we're gonna show you this right here. It's the Haupog Win TV DCR2650, and it records right to your PC. Hey everybody, Jeffrey Powers here. Welcome to Geekazine special media feed where we do interviews and product reviews and unboxings, all that other stuff. You can find it here on the special media feed. Twitter handle, of course, Geekazine. Think Magazine, put in a geeky, you got Geekazine. And then, of course, the, the email address is uh, geekazine at gmail.com. Feel free to email me there. Or you can call the hotline at 608 205 4378. If you've got a product that you want me to review, take a look at, and talk about on the, the special media feed, let me know and uh, we'll get it up there. You can also go over to the YouTube channel to check it out over at youtube.com forward slash. Geekazine. Simple as that. So today we're going to be taking a look at the Win TV DCR2650, which is a dual tuner DVR recording system that uh, then hooks up to a computer so you can record some of your favorite shows. Now, I have standard cable. I bought it because it was only a couple dollars more along with my internet connection. I got a great deal on it. So I've got I've got internet and I've got cable in the SD format, which I've got a box sitting out in my living room. And of course I can hook it up to any other TV. So I can use that uh, to actually create uh, an environment inside my house. So if I'm watching, if I'm watching some sports on the on the main TV, um, somebody else can be watching something else on the TV in the bedroom or or whatnot. But I didn't have any type of DVR or TiVo or anything like that to record any any of the shows. So we mostly relied on on demand until I got this little box right here from Howpog. The Win TV DCR2650 is basically a two-tuner card, which means that I could actually record and watch another TV program on the computer while I'm going. This is perfect because in this room I don't have a TV and that's by design. I don't want to turn on a TV and get sucked into a TV show while I'm trying to get some stuff done. But I might need to record a show or I might need to watch something every now and then. That's where this comes in very handy. Here's how it works. The, the box is very s straightforward. Uh, you have four lights on it. You tuner one, tuner two, your system light and your cable light. It comes with a USB cable and of course on the back, you will put the USB cable right here, on the back you have the USB input, you have your cable input, you have the M card input, and then of course the 5 volt uh, plug which is right here. Now here's the, here's the one thing you need to go to your cable company for and that's this right here, the uh, Media Cipher card or the M card. This one's by Motorola and you just basically slip that in the back. Now when I went to get the M card, usually it's about two dollars more on your cable uh, subscription, but it can vary from uh, cable company to cable company. I use Charter in my area, so uh, they just got me the card. They also gave me a Motorola box, and apparently with TiVos, you have to plug it into this, uh, this deciphering box before you could plug it into here. I didn't need that, so therefore that other device is kind of sitting on the shelf so for when I need to send all that stuff back to, uh, to Charter. But uh, I just had to slip this card in right here and it worked perfectly. So what basically what I did, uh, of course we have the power plug right here, we'll plug that in. And then of course the cable, and with the cable we just plug it right into the cable in, just like you would any TV. So we're just going to wrap that in like so. And of course the last part which is the USB cable and that USB cable will go from the box to a USB port on your laptop. Of course I'm using my uh, G6535DX notebook which is a uh, dual core uh, notebook and it works pretty well on these things. And the best part about this notebook is it's also got an HDMI out so I can actually hook it up to my main TV if I want to watch some of these shows. Now keep in mind first of all this will not record any pay-per-views or on-demand type shows. This will only get the live TV. If you if you just want to get go through your PC with your regular programming rather than using the the cable box that they have, then you can you get this box right here. There's a, on the, if we look on the bottom, you'll see four. 
four mounts so you could actually mount this to a wall if you don't want this uh, sitting on a table or anything like that. So now we have this all plugged in. Basically, I will then call up Windows Media Center uh, off of the uh, off of the machine. And with Windows Media Center, that's where I will do most of my controls. Now this device is for Windows 7, uh, so you have to have a Windows 7 machine to do this. But uh, once you have it plugged in, you put in the put in the drivers, it'll find it perfectly. You have to have Windows Media 7 uh, installed on your machine. Of course, it comes with Windows 7, the Media Center features, and therefore uh, it'll start to connect up. You might have to tell, you'll have to do a card search on it to find this device. But once it finds the device, it then pairs it up. It then downloads the schedule from your uh, from your cable company or wherever you're getting the cable from and then uh, and then puts everything in order um, you then use Windows Media Center to actually do the recording of any show so that software is a different part from this all this is is a facilitator to your PC so you can record shows the best part once again is not only can you record a show from here it's got a dual tuner option which means while you're recording your favorite American Chopper, American Pigger, Storage Wars, or anything like that. You could be watching another show like, I don't know, the new season of uh, Castle or Bones or, or anything like that, which is really cool because then I can actually get my fill of shows and turn around and, uh, and watch what I recorded so I don't miss a single show in my schedule. Once again, this is called the Haupog Win TV DCR2650. It's actually very affordable if you go online. You can probably get it for around $100. Of course, prices change as time goes on. So check that all out. And that is this review of uh, the Haupog. What'd you think? Did you like it? Did you not like it? Let me know. Twitter me at Geekazine. Of course, Geekazine at gmail.com. If you don't have a DVR, this is a great way to change DVRs. We do a lot of reviews over here. Of course, we do interviews. You can check out all the TechCrunch Disrupt interviews that I did just a couple weeks ago, the VMworld interviews that we did. And then, of course, upcoming is the CES uh, videos in January. Lots of cool stuff and lots of video coming from the Special Media Channel. If you've got an item that you want me to talk about on the Special Media Channel, let me know and uh, we'll get, uh, get a copy. We'll do a review and go from there. My name is Jeffrey Powers. Thanks a lot for watching and we'll see you next time on the Geekazine Special Media Channel.